So here we are running a first test uh, of some one inch part laser cut with a pretty solid nitrogen burr, a little bit more than I anticipated. Uh, I did some grinding tests to set up the machine uh, and we have a huge ceramic 60 grit on this machine. This may actually require to go to something a little bit coarser. The next step up I have is only a 36 grit and I may have to use that but what I want to do first is run that through the 60 grit at about 6 to 8 feet per minute with the edge rounding then behind it. Here we ran some stainless parts through the same machine without the white belt sander, just the cross belt because it was pretty draw free and you can see what kind of nice radii this does in stainless steel. So here we go. We're gonna turn on the white belt sander pretty much full speed. This one, I go about 80%. And then here, we are going about 6 to 8 feet a minute. Not too fast, but we need to remove all this drop. I am going to run the part in this orientation so that when the cross belt comes through, it hits all the edges. If we run in this orientation, the cross belt is going to go across and I'm going to be able to penetrate it. Okay, here we go. I'm taking some time because it has hopefully a little bit more uh, a little bit of a pressure belt in there. But you still see, even with the white belt, other than where I ground in space, we are um, just polishing the mill surface. Okay, step number one. Now we are going to go to a different room. I am operator and cameraman at the same time today. So here we have a brand new sheet or belt of 36 grade, uh, grit. XK885Y, very stiff, very sharp ceramic. And we are going to take the aluminum oxide um, off this machine. Pull the valve to the bottom, pressure. Turn the dust collector off for a second. Easier. This comes out. Now I'm going to turn my camera off because I really need both hands in order to put that new stiff sheet in there. Now we have that running. Now we need it set up again. This, of course, is going to be a lot more aggressive also on the, on the surface because, not only because it's 36 grit, the 36 grit will kill after a while too, but mainly because it is so brand, brand new. Okay, I gave it some lighter pressure. I didn't want to overdo it. So let's turn on here. Yeah, 
been a little bit too light, actually. But because it's a new paper, it may have worked well. You will see a silver surface right now. We probably ripped that mill scale right off, which is normal because, again, because it's brand new. After about 50 pieces, you go black, back to a black surface.
burr. We don't. All we're gonna do here, we're gonna run it through the edge now. or at least a 40 grit and again once that uh, paper is a little bit dead what we say basically it loses its initial sharpness then you will not remove all of that mill scale and you will not see all um, that surface grain and roughness okay but this this actually will paint really nice 